Coogan Cassius IFL TV here in Manchester for the undercard press conference for Chisora and Fury on July the 26th for the Fun Fury Arena. With me I've got Liam Smith defending his British title against Nav Mansuri. How are you? Time at you. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. Why well, has got a smile on your face now? Back, aren't I? Do you know what I was thinking? You know you all your brothers, you've got all nicknames, haven't you? Like your Beefy, yeah. Mundo, Swifty, something like that. I've got other names for you. Go on. Actually, me and James are. Sort of like... Uh, we call Paul Angry Smith because yeah. he's always on Twitter and he's always he's a standard people. frown doesn't he he's, like... yeah, he's Angry Smith yeah. uh, you are Grumpy Smith why? because you always look like you're grumpy not today it's just the look like you know everywhere I go but you, people just automatically say you're from the pool you're so yeah. I think I just look like but you look like one of them people yeah. that just like wants to fight everyone <laughs> 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 we call Callum Baby Smith. Yeah, Dozy Smith. We haven't got one for Stephen yet. Gentleman. Gentleman Smith. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Like the little, you know, the little deceiving one that can actually have a fight as well. Um, I said to you in the press conference about where you are as in regards to your career at the minute, you know, another defence of your British title. But you're looking to sort of step it on after this, aren't you? I mean, you're not overlooking men's jury, obviously. No, 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 no. But yeah. At some point this year, you want to step it up. Yeah, definitely. I can see the Coogan that's been, been a nightmare for me since December, beating, beating Mark Thompson. It's the two bills I could have been on, should have been on. I think I'd have had the title out right now. Mm. So, this this fight could have maybe been a European title fight or, you know, some sort of eliminator international title pushing on. You know, up, going up from, from a British title and being frustrating for me. But, like I say, I'm 100% confident, 100% focused on that. But, you know, um, I've got no questions that I'm going to lose to him, so like I said, after this fight, I've got one more defence of the British, which would be a voluntary, but I'm going to um, say I'm going to ask Frank and Francis to push for that European title. Yeah. I've seen the kid that's won it, and you know, he's not special for the European champion. I think he got picked as an opponent for Della Rossa, who was, who was, who was the mandatory for Rabchenko. So, you know, I think he gave that up. Rabchenko will give, give it up, and Della Rossa picked the Spanish kid, Isaac Rayle, his name is. I think he picked him as like an opponent just to win the title and, you know, he upset the upper card, so, you know, hopefully Frank and Francis can push on for that for me and then we'll go from there. Mm. Now, Mansouri, I've seen him fight a few times, very, very good fighter, uh, Mansouri. How does he rank in the opponents that you've already faced? How would, how would you say? Was you know, the best. Yeah. It's my toughest, probably, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I, don't get me wrong, I'd like to, I'd like to see him, with, him in with, like, Steve O'Meara, the Ochang when I fought him, um, you know he was meant to fight Thompson. I think Thompson would have been a good good fight, but you know the way I disposed of Thompson made it look as if it was an easy fight, but I don't think it was. I just think everything worked on that night for me, and I'd like to see him with some of the kids I've boxed. But if you look at it like that, he, he you know he struggled with Max Maxwell, he struggled with Tyan Bood, which I thought won. I thought Tyan Bood beat him, but as I say, I only watched it on a mobile phone, but on the cold lap, but I watched that, I thought Bude beat him. And then he's beat, beat, just beat Matthew Malin, who I've never heard of in my life. No disrespect to him, I've just never heard of him coming through or nothing. So, you know, I don't know, but as I say, I'll train towards me. It's my toughest fight, he's coming to take my title. You know, I'm not coming to take his. So, you know, he's, he, I'm going to look at him as my toughest opponent. Francis Warren made some comments in that press conference there about, you know, we know Brian Rose is do it face uh, Andrade, which is a tough fight for him, but you'd give Andrade a good fight, but this is a bit, a little bit away at the minute. <laughs> what are you doing, you strange little man? I'm giving him, listen, your interviews, you're going to have them different. I'm giving him a toffee. Look, Why don't you do something? Why don't you flip the table? <laughs> flip the table. I'm going to flip this table. Flip the table. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Yeah, the table, you the table's you ten times as big as you, little man. Don't forget that. Liam. Can I carry on, please? British champion, yeah? I, I, like the, I love the British champion. Yeah, all but right. you... You charged him too many money when you was at um, Gallagher's gym. I heard you used to... I never charged him a penny. <laughs> rent. Uh, in fact, 10 on of the that rent. note, can I give you a bill? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just a note on that, really. Um, yeah, I think, you know... When I look at Andrade, he's, he's very, very good amateur. To be honest, he's well gold medalist in the amateurs. He's a good amateur, but I say I'm very, very good with southpaws. I've had a 
beat all the good southpaws in the amateurs and it was all down to that, very good sparring in the amateurs with Joe McNally, he was in the same gym as him, same gym as him as a pro until he, until he quit boxing but you know I had very good, I'm very good with southpaws so maybe France means along that line but I don't mean no disrespect to Brian before when I said that but you know he's fighting for a world title, I'm fighting for a British title, I don't think you know he's world title and I'm British title mm. apart and you know, whether he wins or loses that fight, you know, I'm going to be close close behind and follow and suit as soon as I beat him, man, sorry. I suppose part of it comes down to opportunity. He put himself into yeah, a mandatory yeah. situation yeah, where, won, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, Andre... That's the same as when, like, you know, a lot of people, I think he got a few, like, you know, nasty tweets when he, um, I got made his mandatory, and, which was silly. He, he's a lovely lad, and, but he won the title outright. He was never, ever going to defend against me. I had to explain that a few people. It weren't like he'd give the title because he didn't want to fight me. He'd give the title because he'd won it outright, and which is probably the same as what I'd do unless you know, there's a chunk of money on the table to defend that title again. Yeah. But I didn't mean no disrespect to him when I, when, when I said that, but hopefully you know, he, he, he beats Andrade. I'll be, I'll be rooting for him, and I hope he beats Andrade because then people can start talking about me and him again then. Absolutely. That no, makes sense. Um, all right, well, listen, Liam Smith, thanks for talking to Eiffel TV. You haven't been Grumpy Smith today. No, I never have. Been I've been Grumpy because I've been injured for eight months, mate. No, no, maybe it's just me when you Watch see when me. Watch when I beat Nav, sorry. What's that? Watch when I beat Nav. I'll be the happiest man, you know. 26th of July, we'll, we'll find out. All right, cheers for talking to us, and thanks, uh, catch up with you soon. Yeah, nice thanks. one, Cook. Cheers, ah, mate, thanks.